fashionistas. I hope you're all having a lovely day. Today I'm going to be reviewing for you the five-piece makeup brush set from Ecotool, so stick around. I will put down the price below for the set as I purchased it off of iHerb. Also look down below if you want to purchase this. You can find a direct link and a discount code for $10 on your first purchase from iHerb. I do recommend it. You can find there lots of wonderful cruelty-free and ecological brushes like for instance the Echo Tool line. You can also find Real Technique and you can find Bedellium tools which I really like. They ship worldwide as I mention always and uh, you can always order off of them. I think they're one of the very few sites that ship everywhere in the world without any uh, problems. So go do check them out. The five piece, the six piece um, makeup set actually has five brushes and it has a little pouch that it goes in with it. The little pouch is very cute. It's very small. You can put your brushes in it and some other little brushes from Ecotools and you can stick it in your makeup bag so you can separate them from not getting dirty or getting other things dirty in case your brushes are have been used. The brushes are not tall. As you can see, I will hold them up and you will see on the screen that they are compared to the uh, F80 by uh, Sigma. The F the F80 or the F82 from Sigma, and you can tell that they are definitely shorter. They are still long enough so you can hold them in your hand as such. So you still have usability of these. You have five makeup brushes in this set. You have one pencil, you have one uh, brush called the smudge brush. The next brush in size is the small crease brush. The large, the third brush is your large eye. The fourth brush is your highlighting, which is your classic blending tool to use. And then you also have your angled crease. Personally, I was really surprised. I really liked this set because I thought I would get great use out of the small eyeshadow uh, brush because I have small eyes and I like to work very precisely. This works wonderful if you want to put a highlight corner inside the corner of your eye. But what I was really surprised is the fact that despite having uh, very large, very small eyes and like have using uh, small makeup brushes, I actually found that the large eye was very useful and that's despite the size of it that it's quite large compared to your small crease brush. This is, this picks up uh, uh, product in such a wonderful way, I gotta say, that until I used this, I didn't realize how good you can get it. And I really also like it because the dome shape of it, as you can see, it also can work very nicely for blending out somewhat in your crease. The other brush, uh, which is the smudge brush, is not so much of a pencil brush because it's somewhat stiff and the two-thirds connecting to the barrel. And then, then the other last the tip of it, it tends to be quite soft, so it's not pokey at all. All the fibers from these brushes are, by the way, soft as can be. They're brown, but they're synthetic, so you don't have nothing to worry about that. Uh, these have been very, very reliable. The smudge brush, I find that I use uh, when I want to smudge, really. It's not necessarily good for, like, uh, sometimes I want to put, like, an eyeliner from eyeshadow and that can sometimes work depending on the particular eyeshadow but this does indeed do the work that it's that it's meant for and that's the smudge brush I don't use I don't smudge out my eyes so much so that's why I have less use for it but I've also find that this is very nice for uh, lining the inside of your uh, water inside of your waterline because it's very soft but it still picks up just enough product to do the job the last product, uh, the, the, the last two brushes are your angled crease and your highlighting crease. Shadow. So, come here. Come here. Look, there's Buddha. Do you want to come play with Buddha? Come here. Me. Come on. The highlighting brush, it equivalent to, uh, I'll put the equivalents of the MAC and the Sigma brush by this, but it's your classic dome-shaped uh, blending brush. It works perfectly. It blends with the product just right. It gives it the right blending effect without erasing your eyeshadow. So it's not too rough. It's also very, very soft, but still has some, uh, it has some give for it at the tip. And again, up to at least halfway after the barrel, it tends to be quite 
stiff so it actually stays together and helps you focus if you have small eyes this set is amazing as I said the last brush is your angled crease and I found that this is very uh, I like using it actually for my highlighting uh, eyeshadow and that means that I use it at this point of the above my eye and I like how it applies it but still gives it a soft effect I don't want it to be too um, too concentrated in, in color as a general rule and then when, if I have to blend out that area because I need a second um, blending brush this also oh, no, works very I nice really like this that. set I have washed these many 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 times they have done so well they are still like the day I bought them they wash really nicely they stayed perfectly the only thing that I might have happened is the name of the brush is kind of kind of uh, washed away by this point uh, I can still kind of see it uh, and and perhaps if I like uh, you can put clear nail polish if you want to if you want to preserve the names they're not engraved on to the brush they're actually typed or drawn on so that's why they haven't lasted as well but except for that reason I have no complaints by this set they are incredibly affordable I've mentioned these in my current favorites I use these all the time the only other set that I really like that compares to this and I like this better is the Bedellium eye set also five makeup brushes but it's a very different kind of set I do recommend picking these up for, and considering the price you might even want to pick up two simply because then you can have one getting clean and one for rotation and even if you're a makeup artist I would say that these are totally worth the money and I would consider these professional grade makeup brushes I know that when you look at the price you don't necessarily think that but they really 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 are amazing um, so all in all these get a full grade item they get a full recommendation off of me pick them up uh, as I said below, I will link links down below to their site, to Ecotools and iHerb, and I think you can also get them in several British makeup uh, uh, sites, so I'll try to find more links and put them down below. That's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you like these brushes, tell me what you think below if you've tried these before. If there's more brushes by Ecotools that you do like, please again comment down below you can comment anything down below uh, as always if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't before and all my social media links will be down below in the down bar for my Pinterest Instagram Twitter Facebook and my blog page please go check it out fashion and cruelty free on this channel and as always have a lovely day everybody bye what come here come here come here look what I got look what I get look what I got